はいはいはいはいはい。Welcome back to Level Up Love and Fight Zone 26. Not trying to be dry. <laughs> I'm struggling, y'all. I'm struggling because I am so. I am hoarding. I'm hoarding. I'm hoarding the things that I'm supposed to be doing. I am being so quiet about it because I'm so terrified of people stealing my ideas. I'm so terrified of people that have bigger platforms taking my ideas. And I have to really, really realize that it's a thing and it will happen if it's something that's successful and actually takes off. The likelihood of it happening is great. But I have to be obedient. I have to be obedient. And I have to figure out a way to get rid of this whatever anxiety that I have with releasing the ideas and the amazing like creativity that God has blessed me with. God has given me so many things and I've been so mums the word, you know, being quiet about it and just not wanting to share it or share with a couple people so that it doesn't spread too quickly because I feel and I've seen it happen where smaller content creators have done things or said things and then people that already have grown their platform have come through and stole their stories, stole their blueprint and it's like I don't want to compare myself to anyone But I don't want to feel violated. I don't want to feel like someone is taking my creativity, my messages, the things that matter to me and utilizing them, monetizing them, um, corrupting them. It's really a struggle. Like, no lie. It's holding me back and I know it. It's holding me back. I have to do better because at the end of the day, me not doing what God is telling me to do is disobedient. Like, literally. He's telling me all this amazing stuff to do. And I'm like, okay, yeah, but I have to do it like this so nobody can know about it. And so like, it pops out when I pop out with it. But when I pop out with it, it's still, I'm still a small content creator. I'm still a small, you know, force. It takes nothing for people to go through and still take it. So it's like, what? just be obedient. What's for you is for you. What God has is for me. What God has for me is for me. And I really, I got to let this go. I have to release it. I cannot hoard the greatness that he's putting into me. I cannot hoard it. You have to think about it. It had to start somewhere. It all had to start somewhere. And I have to be okay with Maybe being the innovator for some things. Maybe not the, uh, you know, I might not be the person that perfects it. Or even gets the credit for it. But I just have to be okay with it. Like, it makes the world a better place. The first people, the Wright brothers, I think. Listen, this ain't no history lesson, so relax. <laughs> but but the, the Wright brothers, they went out and they started making planes. They were not the ones that's making the planes that we're on now. They're not the ones that perfected the flights and the crafts that we use now. And I just gotta be okay with somebody taking what I have and perfecting it. I have to just learn how to be okay with it. It's not easy though, y'all. It's not because I'm a creative person. I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my... I'm sensitive about it. So, just keep me uplifted in prayer as I take on this journey of sharing myself, my energy, my creativity, and my love for God, my love for life with the entire world. Whew. Okay, I just had to get that off my chest.